The best teachers don't give you the answers. They spark within you the desire to find out answer yourself. Wish you a very very happy Teachers Day to all my teachers in my life through this YouTube platform, like which uh, who uh, who brings me like who brings me from pencil to pen, from child to engineer, and I am so glad like I am here to teach all these students through this platform. But um, this is very interesting thing about the teachers who gives the knowledge without any advantage of them okay so this is the song or this is the tribute to all the teachers who gives me the knowledge which is precious in today's world so let us say okay so let's start with my presentation finally Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is 5th September 2021, which is totally known as the Teacher's Day. So I already say thanks to all my gurus in my life who brings me like um, pencil to pen. Okay, so today, uh, first of all, I am I'm talking about the introduction to python programming language so this is the lesson one which i am going to tell you so most of the people are asking like uh, they wanted to know like how python programming language works and what is python programming language so here is the lesson one and many lessons are there so gradually they are coming with on your youtube platform so they can uh, so you can easily access it okay so uh, first of all i want to tell you that my videos are not constant from the previous days from the previous months because i was i'm not able i was not well properly like uh, i am having some disease that is why i am not uh, taking the uh, like i'm not taking the uh, videos okay so finally i am back with my laptop with my presentation or with lots of enthusiasm so let's start with the lesson one introduction to python programming language i think you will not be bored but the thing is i will crack some joke in between the lesson so that you can not be bored in between the session okay the main motto of this ppt is make you understand that what is the python programming language so this is the lesson one which is totally talk about introduction to python programming language by me that is jaya shakla so let's start with the like why you are seeing this presentation this is the big question mark in your mind so this objective like the main of this lesson one the objective of lesson one or you can say that the motto of this lesson one okay so what we are studying in today's lesson is introduction to python or in the second point examples to print hello world in java c and python example to print the sum of two numbers in java c and python now the third point is some interesting thing about python which is really so 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 phenomenal okay so be with my video and stay tuned so in the last applications of the python programming language so coming to the next slide which is introduction to python programming language so the question is like the first point which i have mentioned is python is a general purpose high level programming language like guys it is very simple to learn these statement python is like a general purpose high level programming language but did you understand the what does this line mean okay so i'll tell you that what does it mean okay so python is a general purpose language which means so i'll tell you that what is general purpose high level programming language first you have to split into two segments general purpose in one segment and high level programming language in second segment so python is a general purpose language which means it can be used for a wide variety of developing 
task development of task okay so python is the top choice for data science and machine learning so general purpose are like like it is used for a wide variety of use okay so in the second segment what we have done is high level programming language so what are high level programming language high level languages allows programming to write programmers to write instructions in a language that is easier to understand than low level languages so there are two types of languages high level languages and low level languages so high level languages are easily to understand the code and low language are just opposite of high level languages okay so in the second point i will not go in the detail but i'll make you understand properly okay python was developed by guido van rossum in 1989 so first of all uh, like most of the people are asking like do you know python yes i know python so can you tell me who developed python so most of the people are not able to answer that question so this is very important to learn that who developed the python which you have learned already okay so python was developed by guido van rossum guido van rossum and which year 1989 while working at the national research institute at netherlands okay so they are working in the national research institute which is situated in netherland and he found that uh, here uh, he found that a language which is known as python and who developed this guido van rossum in 1989 okay so but officially python was made available to public in 1991 so publicly the python was available in 1991 and the and if someone is asked what is the official date of python like which date it is published okay so you know that february 20th 1991 so you can make a logic like 28 february which is uh, celebrated as a science day okay so Eight days before, you can uh, make in mind like twentieth Feb, which is known as Python birth date. Okay, so this would be a little logical. Okay, Python is recommended as first programming language for beginners. So Python is very easy, very dynamic, and easy to understand, and it does not have long codes, large codes. Okay. so it is easy to understand that is why it is recommended as a first language for beginners okay coming to the next slide which is known as example to print hello world in java like if you take an example if someone will ask like print hello world in java so this is a very simple uh, like it is little bit hard to print hello world like you have to make the public class hello world now curly braces then print and psv main and sop this is very difficult to learn okay now coming to the next slide example to print hello world in python so this is very easy like in the previous slide it takes seven lines and in the next which is code in python it takes only five lines isn't it like um, amazing okay so like you have to take okay so i have did mistake in here like okay so in the previous is in c and it is in python so i have did in the mistake sorry for that but print in hello world is like in python which is only in one line so which would you like to print so if i take an example like this i write so this is the python shell which i have open and if you print this like i have taken the already example i have taken the example already like if you take a equals to 2 b equals to print b equals to 4 and print a plus b bracket close so this will print out 6 okay but in the previous slide which is in python which is in c okay so you have to mention has include and you have to mention the library studio.h now you have to main the 
function void main function which is called the main function and you have to print the hello world which is very hard so in the python you have only one line code coming to the next slide ex example to print sum of two numbers in java so this take on like i am showing the only uh, the uh, line wise i am not giving the practical view of java in c i only give you the practical view of python okay so it will take 10 lines to print sum of two numbers in java and coming to the c it takes how many lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it takes eight lines now coming to the python programming language so it will take only three lines isn't it good yeah it is absolutely good okay so coming to the next slide what is some interesting things about python so what are the some interesting things about python like people are very amazed with the magics okay so this is called the magic of python okay so the name python was selected from the tv show i know guys you are not aware of this most of the people are aware and few are not so this is the line which is very uh, makes me a uh, very interesting okay so the name python was selected from the tv show the complete the complete monty python circus so this is the name python has been selected from the tv show the monty python circus okay jo uh, which was broadcasted in bbc channel from 1969 to 1974 this is the data which i have collected from various books so guys please this data is very auspicious this data is very precious so be keep in mind okay so guido developed guido who is guido which i have already taught you guido is the man guido is the engineer who developed python language so guido developed python language by taking almost all programming features from different languages like he take different features from different languages so functional programming features from c oops programming features from c++ and descriptive language features from perl and shell script modular programming features from module 3 most of the syntax in python derived from c and abc languages so <coughs> applications of python so most of the people are asking like what are the applications of python so, like for developing desktop application applications of python are like for developing web application for developing database application for developing machine learning for iot for developing artificial intelligence application so python has a vast python has a vast area of applications okay so this is very interesting topic okay so i uh, this is the uh, last slide which i have